and then, you know, the other thing that Clover does is he sort of, at one point, he's scraping up against the side of the building to get these parasites off him, which later come down and attack him. And we were really, really trying to bust away from this guy in the suit thing. And it turns out it's harder than it looks um, when you've got this giant monster that so closely resembles a humanoid creature. We really wanted to break that up. Uh, this in particular was an example that really looked very human. You can see here he, he puts his hand up in sort of a, a defensive posture and it, it just it looked really much too much like a guy in a suit. Uh, but here we're starting to get a little bit a little bit more cat-like kind of thing, uh, cat, cat scratching and scratching posts, that sort of thing. Um, you know, kind of moving forward and, and uh, figuring out how we wanted to get this guy to move. So this is the test that we started to put together. Uh, this is the very first time that we animated him in a plate. And he's a little bit fast, but he's kind of doing the walk cycle that we liked a little bit. You know, he's, he's got kind of a Godzilla thing going on. We wanted to make sure to break that up. Um, we started to put the textures and the lighting together. You can see here how the yellowish sodium vapor light just makes his colors fall apart. And again, these were early tests. Um, and then uh, Chris over here was actually the guy who started putting this together and really make it look like a whole movie. And it turned out that what really helped was, you know, zooming in on the camera, the, the focus racks, the, you know, the handheld feel, all that stuff really, really helped put it together. And here's the way the final test should go. away from the plate, everything above the skyline is going to be completely digital. And uh, the death throws. The, the one problem that we have with this shot, though, is at the end, Clover's supposed to jump out and knock over the helicopter. And you'll see here when he does that, the way he comes up, he just, everything about it looks wrong. First of all, he's jumping about five or six hundred feet in the air, which looks kind of weird. His pose here looks kind of creepy, and it's just... There's no way to make this work, it just, it just doesn't look right, and it's something we're going to have to deal with throughout the, the course of the shot, and you'll see how we solve that in a bit. Dev, you want to talk about the match movement of excitement on this shot? This is definitely the hardest thing I've ever tried to track. Um, not only was it very slow and meandering, which means that your eye can pick up uh, anything that goes wrong in here, but um, the actual CG buildings I had to work with weren't exactly in the right spot. And for all the reflections and effects work and everything like that, they had to be accurate. So I um, spent a lot of time trying to figure out if either my camera was in the wrong spot or if the buildings were in the wrong spot. Um, I was eventually able to get it, but yeah, it took a lot of work. So it turns out that uh, the crazy, ridiculous handheld move is almost easier than the sort of slow hopping helicopter. It, it all depends, really. Um, sometimes the slow shot is easy, and sometimes the handheld shots can be you know, the hardest ones. It's, it's hard to say until you get in there and start doing them. So again, we've got some, you know, relatively effects-heavy stuff, and this is not the kind of show where you can spend months and months and months on R&D, so we sort of had to figure out what we could already do and make that kind of work. Um, and what really works for us at Tippett Studio is basically taking computer-generated effects and mixing them with practical effects. Uh, here you can see these computer-generated explosions look kind of lame, you know, they're sort of right out of the box from Maya. Um, it takes a lot of work just to get them to this point, but they still are not really working. Uh, we've also got some other effects animation stuff, but but all of this is going to be combined uh, in the comp, and in this case, Chris actually comped the whole shot. And I think we, what did we was it 12 weeks to do the whole shot? Something insane, right? Yeah. Well, by, by the time all the elements were ready and ready to comp, I, it, was, it was sort of it was a little bit of procrastination. It was about maybe four weeks to comp the shot. Two super intense weeks. There's a lot. But, of um, but yeah, the match was really saved me, and uh, I was able to use C depth uh, created by the you know the city that Devin built to do this to you know you know cut the smoke, and I used uh, it's a little geyser element. I used just one element over and over and retimed it fast for the well not fast but you know regular speed for the foreground and then super slow for the background, and then I just put cards in my and cut it with the Z-depth to, to get that depth in the city. So it's a total 2D trick. And you'll see here, this is the way that the uh, effects animation it starts to get layered with uh, practical explosions and dust elements from other movies that we worked on, and the stuff really starts to come to life. Yeah, I used tons of uh, elements that were actually shot for Starship. Uh, uh, brain bug elements, you know, all these huge dust hits, and I use that to pad the, 
the effects renders and it really helped. And what, what I want you to watch is what we show the final is um, the way we solve the problem of the monster jumping out at us and looking kind of goofy is the same technique that Chris used for that very first clover shot that we did. We found out, you know what, if we just zoom the camera in and make it soft and blurry and kind of look around like the camera is trying to find it, all of a sudden you get much less space to play with and there's just a giant monster head in your face before you know what's going on. It turned out that that just solved the problem. So, you know, low tech effects. Oh my god. Are you guys seeing this right now? Are you guys seeing this right now? Sorry.